Hello, Mayday family. How are you guys doing today? So I'm so excited about today. Why? I don't know. I think it's because I literally just caught a cold. I My throat started hurting. And unbeknownst to me, I didn't know that when your throat starts hurting, it's a, a tall tale sign. Tall tale sign. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I, I'm pretty sure it's like a tall tale sign. I know that. My throat always starts hurting and it always follows you know, follows up with the cold, but I never really put two and two together. Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me, okay? I got a master's, I'm working on a PhD. Uh, don't judge me, I'm smart. <laughs> I'm smart, okay, I'm smart. I'm a smart person. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'm so glad. Thanks for joining me today. I'm super, super excited uh, to talk to you guys today. I totally forgot, what was I gonna talk about? struggle I have my hat on because you know what you know what you know what I have my hair in a ponytail and I feel like you guys will be like what's up with that forehead what the heck is going on with your ponytail I put my hat on cuz I enjoy looking like an Eskimo why it is that I got on camera <laughs> <laughs> to talk to you guys today. So what I wanted to talk about today is sensitive guys and not just sensitive guys but sensitive people in general. My sense of humor can be sort of drastic. Shows that I consider funny. Family Guy, South Park. If you've ever watched South Park you know how gross that is. The Office is freaking hilarious. It's like the funniest show ever. And I can be really sarcastic and really forward and direct. I find that it's fine in my regular life and you know, I hang out with my friends and do all these awesome things. But then <laughs> when I was dating, that was kind of an issue because I would run into guys that, the majority of the guys that where everything was going great until I say something and they got their feelings hurt or something. It's like mad sensitive guys. Now we all walk around kind of scared. We don't really want to say anything because we don't want to offend anyone. It's just a freaking joke. Okay, I'm just kidding. God. <laughs> I just wanted to let people know because I literally on a first date, on a second date, on a third date, I would literally tell these guys, you know what, if you are a sensitive type of person, we will not make it because I'm sensitive, but in a way where, um, you know, I want you to consider my feelings and I like hugs and I like kisses and, and whatever the heck else, you know? When it comes to like jokes and things like that, I need someone that's on the same frequency as me. This is how you know if you're sensitive. They always would claim like, no, I'm the most chill, laid back person ever. How many of you guys know <laughs> that person or have met that person where it's like, oh, I, they swear up and down they're the most chill, laid back person ever and they're not. It's like you say something and it offends them and things like that. And especially at the beginning of just meeting someone. Lie to me about the product and you try to sell me false merchandise. It's almost like they don't really even know what that means or what it means to be sensitive about something. I made a joke one time. Well, it wasn't really a joke. It was kind of like just a fact. But yeah, I was kind of joking and I was texting this person whom shall remain nameless for the I don't want YouTube to uh, take down the video so <laughs> so like let's get why am I why is that so why is that so fun what so anyway I told him lol it's like you don't really do anything ever like all you ever do is hang out with either hang out with your family or hang out with your brother and that's it that's it you don't work out you know, you don't have any like hobbies. He did play like online video games, but that was it. So I said, that's what I said. I was like, it's like you have no life, you know, LOL. But I was kidding, you know, but I was kidding. But, you know, it was kind of like facts because it's not like, you know, he reads or something. I don't know. He doesn't like work out or do anything else or no friends that I knew about. But 
Um, so anyway, and it was a huge issue. Why get mad at that? That's not even a big deal. That's just me being funny, you know? It's like, if you really want to do that much more, then just go to the gym or something, and then I would be like, oh, look at you, how, how nice. So, it's just so important to me to get this out there because it's like, I definitely wanted to make this video because I honestly feel like now, in 2019, people don't know what the hell it means to be overly sensitive. If you're overly sensitive, then you need to know what that means. You can't just be think you're not sensitive and think you're so cool, but you're not. You're fucking like sensitive. You're like legit the definition of sensitivity. The six major signs that would indicate that you are most likely an overly sensitive person. So if someone asks you, please let them know and tell them up front because they will say something that offends you. And then sixth way, that's such a weird word, sixth, sixth, the sixth way. You guys try to say sixth. I dare you to say that word three times in a row. Six, 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 six. six. Try to say six. Try to say six three. Try to say six three times in a row. Six, six, six. The sixth way. The sixth way. <laughs> the number six way of knowing that you are probably way too sensitive. You're the type of person that tends to hold your feelings in, and you tend to hold your negative feelings in particular inside of you. You keep it bottled in because you feel like they're just too negative to show or to express. So essentially you feel like if you express this feeling to whoever it is that you're speaking to or you have those feelings towards, they're not going to like you or they're going to react or they're going to confront you or they're going to respond or whatever. So you hold those feelings in and you bottle them in and then it's like one thing and then they do something else that you don't like and you hold it in and you hold it in and you keep holding on to all these little things until only, that's not only unhealthy but that means that you are probably way way too sensitive because at the end of the day it's like you can't just be holding on to things thinking that people are worried about you know what they're gonna say because you told them that you didn't like the comment that they made or your or you know what I'm saying like that that is a prime indicator that you're way too sensitive so if you're that way and you know that you are someone that doesn't like to express their negative feelings uh, towards other people then you're way too sensitive towards that because honestly it's just a part of life there's just gonna be things that certain people might not like certain people might like things like that and you need to learn how to communicate that effectively Ooh, my, my oh you need to be able to express yourself and you need to be able to express it in such a way that it uh, resonates with the person that you're speaking to but you also need to be quite straightforward and upfront about what it is that you're feeling because the worst thing you can do is keep it bottled in and not say anything and introverts are particularly bad when it comes to this they always try to use the excuse that I'm an introvert but let me tell you something you might want to look up the definition of what it means to be an introvert introvert because just because you're an introvert doesn't mean that if something happens uh, that you don't like or you don't agree or you're feeling negatively about that you can't you shouldn't be able to express that towards that person right does that make sense an introvert means that they don't necessarily have um, as high as a, an energy level you know they don't get their energy from being around people. That's what an introvert means. Being an introvert doesn't mean that you're unable to communicate with people. Does that make sense? So a lot of people get those two confused. So there's a good chance that I'll be making a video about that because I just thought about it and we need to get those two things sorted out because people just, I know, nowadays it's crazy. Anyways, moving on. Number five. If you often feel like people are judgmental towards you, if you often feel like people are judgmental towards you, then you're most likely overly sensitive without any proof, without any solid proof. Like if someone hasn't come up to you and said, your shirt, it's ugly. What are you even talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like if you feel like people are always judging you because they make one comment or the other, like with the example that I gave earlier, um, you know, the response that I got wasn't too good, right? The response that I got was like, oh, well, you don't like my life or appreciate my life. And this was someone that I was dating. So I would say if I'm dating you, I don't necessarily mind that your life is like that. It's your life to live. I'm dating you because I like you as a human being. But if the, if you want to add things to your life, like if you want to go to the gym and do more, then that's 
what you would do for yourself not for me you know but you know if if you're overly sensitive then um, you always think people are judging you and, and people aren't accepting you so that's something that you definitely want to look out for you don't want to uh, and, and people especially in 2019 are quick to do that to be like oh he's judging me or she's judging me it's like no one's judging you it's just like a fact like if that's all you do then you know it's almost like you're upset at hearing the truth because you don't necessarily like what your reality looks like so you project that um, those negative feelings onto someone else and that's just you being overly sensitive to be honest so uh, if you notice that you're doing that that's the fifth way in which you can tell that you are entirely overly sensitivity moving on to number four so the fourth way in which you can tell if you are an overly sensitive person is if you are afraid of rejection yeah that's right like you if you're afraid of rejection and you're literally afraid of someone rejecting you or people rejecting you or not accepting you then you are an entirely overly sensitive person because rejection is a part of life you guys it is a part of life it's a part of life okay so if you want to hit on that oh hey boy how are you doing you looking super hot today if you want to hit on that hot guy right there then go ahead and hit on that hot guy right there because at the end of the day he's hot so why not say hi say what's up and then if he ignores you he ignores you rejection is a part of life so it kind of ties back to the number six because it's like if you're having feel negative feelings about someone and you're scared to express those because you're scared that you would get rejected that's unhealthy and that means you're overly sensitive and you need to work on that because um, at the end of the day it's like if someone rejects you and they outwardly tell you I don't want to be with you then that's on them you mean you can't force them to be with you or you can't force them to talk to you or be your friend or whatever but at the end of the day I mean if you're just scared to say anything because you're scared of rejection then that's a, a prime just indication that you're entirely overly sensitive it's just not a healthy way to be so I mean don't be everyone's scared of rejection but don't let it hold you back right so don't let it stifle uh, who you are and your being and the way that you are does it make does that make sense and please do not tell me oh but I'm an introvert because that's not what being an introvert means and I need people to look this up because you keep saying I'm an introvert that has nothing to do with anything and you keep saying well um well you know I just don't have the, the personality I don't like confrontation hold on it's not necessarily confrontation it is literally you don't have to confront someone necessarily to express how you feel to them and have a conversation with them and if you don't have that skill if you don't know how to do that then there's a challenge that you need to work on because that's an essential skill and you need to be able to do that that's just it's human it's life especially if you're gonna be in a relationship a long-term one at that and you don't know how to communicate you're telling me you're scared of confrontation it doesn't have to be a confrontation it could be a conversation moving on to number three if you often experience tension or anxiety yes I said it because I know anxiety is actually in the DSM DSM. Oh, for you guys that don't know, I am a psychology major. It's what my graduate degree is in, as well as my PhD that I'm currently pursuing. That is why I have this book. You, I, <laughs> I tore my book. <laughs> Forget this. We don't need this book right now for a YouTube video. Who cares? What? If you're someone that tends to feel tension and anxiety often, then chances are that you are an overly sensitive person and that is a, an area in your life that you can work on right so if you're always feeling tension or anxiety if you're dating someone for example and you're just always worried about what they're gonna say or think about you and you don't want to be yourself like you might be a little bit overly sensitive and then as soon as they say something to you or if it's a joke if they even if they say have you guys ever been in that situation where they say oh my god what an ugly shirt 
or oh that shirt looks weird you know or they're just and they're just kidding but it's someone you haven't been dating for that long and you take it all seriously and you get offended you know what I'm saying like that's not don't let them call you fat that's a universal rule everyone knows you don't just call a girl fat okay someone that gets anxious often and feels that tension often then chances are you are an overly sensitive person and chances are you will get offended if someone says something to you that you feel like oh that's rude or whatever you know and don't get me wrong you guys like everyone's sensitive to a certain degree I'm a sensitive person I like the hugs and the kisses and the cuddles but I also like someone that's on my on the same wavelength as me as far as jokes and things like that and sometimes it takes time to get get acquainted but you do want to make sure that uh, if it's someone that you're getting to know and they tend to have that type of personality type that you're both strong when it comes to communication skills because if they say something and they're just kidding and you don't care to find out whether or not they're just kidding you just threw something that could be potentially great away or you don't care to just to have just to have a conversation you know which is so hard to do now in 2019 people don't want to talk to, they just don't want to talk to each other it's crazy it blows my mind they don't want to talk to each other you might say well it takes time to get to know someone and you shouldn't make jokes when you're just meeting someone because that person doesn't know how you are that's fine but as you get to know someone what happens is more and more of your true self comes out right so if you're the type of person that likes those type of jokes and that's what you find funny or you're direct and straightforward but it's not really a big deal and you're dating someone that um, you know is overly sensitive or you're both sensitive and you're just getting to know each other but you still have that hardcore sense of humor what's gonna save that is I mean what's gonna save any relationship but in particularly that relationship it doesn't have to be a romantic one either keep that in mind is your communication skills your ability to talk things out and to just make sure I mean if someone makes a joke like with the example I gave earlier uh, a good response would have been, what do you mean? So you're not happy with my life? Is that what you're saying? As opposed to just getting mad right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? Like, make sure, communicate, have that conversation. Being an introvert or saying, oh, oh my God, well, I don't have, like... Um, the personality type that just goes out there that's not an excuse for being a bad communicator like literally literally just ask questions don't just jump into conclusions and if you're just jumping into those conclusions it means you're insecure it means you're overly sensitive and it means you have some things that you have to work on and we all have those but just saying for this the purposes of this video the number two way that you know that you are overly sensitive is if you tend to beat yourself up a lot everyone messes up okay so like don't sit there beating yourself up about it think about it what did i learn from it moving on you know think about it what did i learned from it moving on and i will say this that's a hard skill to master and people won't tell you that you know like people when they make videos they'll just kind of tell you oh don't just don't beat yourself up just move on or whatever and learn from it that's all good and dandy but that is honestly you guys that's a hard skill to master and that's and I say skill because it's a skill it's not something that you're necessarily born with you know you might be more inclined to it depending on the environment that you grew up in your family and things like that to not necessarily beat yourself up over things like that but it's not necessarily something that you're that most of the time it's not going to be something that you're born with it's a skill and a skill is what a skill is something that you work on over and over and over and over and over again and you master every time you you work on it so don't not bidding yourself up over f ups because I used to I used to be that way like a couple of years ago like when I first got into corporate and, and got my first job like I would beat myself up over everything but I was so young right so the 20s have been great for me because you know you learn these things during that time just saying, just saying, just knowing that everyone messes up and even, whether it's big or small, you guys, I promise you, what, regardless of if it's big or small, if you're still alive, there's, you know, find a, a way to keep moving forward. That's really the, the only way because sitting there being yourself up isn't going to do anything about it. And 
like if you tend to do that over every little thing all the time it's not even like oh something happened and now you're but you tend to do that if you drop something you're sitting there beating yourself up for like 30 minutes that makes no sense like let me drop something i dropped you know how many times you guys i go into walmart and like i've had like starbucks in my hand dropped it all over the floor this is so bad i drop things all the time guess what i do i literally i will look at it for like two seconds i just like walk right around it it's like it never happened <laughs> because it's like what am i gonna do at walmart start wiping the floors i'm like oh my god i just i dropped my hot chocolate there get on my clothes like let me just ride my cart around it so um yeah every time because i'll go to starbucks and i'll go to walmart and then it just messy very messy if you do and if you tend to do that and you know you tend to do that then chances are you are an overly sensitive person if someone asks you if you are a sensitive person please let them know that you are because what happens is then they say something then it's just the problem it's a problem and then you you really need to know how to communicate because at the end of the day i mean if, if your sense of humor is different that's fine but i mean as long as you're communicating because that way no one um, is confused about what the joke meant or why it was said. The number one! Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is such a huge one for me, you guys, when I was dating. Oh, God. Like, oh, my God. Particularly in a particular race of males. I won't say which. Because, again, I want to be YouTube appropriate. <laughs> Um, but the number one thing that I found is people that don't let things go. You guys, I know everyone has had this person in their life or know this person or have met this person that doesn't let things go. Like, my God, like literally you'll say something like in the example that i gave earlier of saying man you really don't really have a life you just hang out with your family and you hang out with your brother and that's it like you don't really do anything else and literally you know or you're playing video games online which i don't really count as doing something lol and via text or whatever and you hold on to that for like day after day after day no you are way too sensitive so if like my brother upsets me or something, I might hold on to it for a while, but it's my brother so I know I can always like go back <laughs> and talk to him. You would have to do something so drastic. You shouldn't be holding on to anything really. So if you're someone that holds on to things, she did this like five years ago, or oh she like dropped my juice ten years ago, or oh oh my gosh she called me fat ten years ago and you're 300 pounds but you mad that someone called you back <laughs> it's ridiculous oh see my sense of humor that's what i keep telling you guys but look like honestly though on a serious note you can't hang on to things you gotta you gotta let that you gotta let it go let it go i'm obsessed with that song if you guys have watched my other videos it's like don't sing <laughs> so <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, no, you gotta let it go. If you're someone that holds on to things, then you are way too sensitive. Like, if something happens today and we have a, a discussion about it, and this, and communication, talking, literally just talking alone, this is where it comes into play here, too, because once you talk things out, you figure it out, and you learn from it, you know what the lesson is, make sure it doesn't happen again, you move on. Make sure it doesn't happen again, you move on, you learn from it, you move on, move on, move on. Like you don't, don't hold on to it. Let it go, it's done. It's like as long as we both come to an agreement and we're on the same page, move on. <laughs> That's it, you're like, you don't have to hold on to it. But if you do that, then you know you're overly sensitive. Anyways, you guys, I gotta go. Cause it's pretty late here and you know I work during the day and then I got a class and then I gotta make videos for my YouTube channel and my Mayday family. But I love you guys. I love you guys that much. Subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.